So when it comes to my baseball bag, I seriously over-prepare. We actually have a new baseball bag with our logo on it, so that's pretty sick. No joke, like 90% of my bag is gloves. But I actually have two bags for two different occasions, so we're gonna cover both, but the first one is if I'm just gonna go to a baseball game. Also, we have this to unbox later, so we're gonna do that too. We're simply gonna talk about everything. My gloves, my bats, batting gloves, accessories, you know, arm sleeves, all of it. No particular order, just kinda grab and go. This is the 44 RB5. This is a denim first baseman, and this thing is honestly sick. I love the colorway on it still. As you can see, we have our custom logo. I really do want to put more work into this because it hasn't had any like actual game usage. So it's sort of just in that like kind of broken in, but could use more work. No, I'm not a lefty, but I have friends who are lefties. So we have this too. This is a Wilson A2000 K97. It's kind of an older model and you can definitely tell by it saying super skin right there. They haven't done that for a long time. And it doesn't even say how big it is. It's actually 12 and a half inches and it says it in here. It's simply a beat up glove for when somebody forgets it. I actually just talked about this the other day. This is the Rawlings Gold Glove Elite 1275, just an outfield model. This is honestly a great glove for somebody else to use because it's not super great, it's not super cheap, and honestly, for a lot of people who aren't super good at baseball, when they feel a Gold Glove Elite, it feels much more comfortable, they feel more confident using it than they would with like a Kip, you know, tough, hard glove. So it's just kind of how it is, which kind of stinks and I find that frustrating. And then this piece is absolutely beautiful. Like this is seriously like the perfect, perfect glove to let somebody else use because it's the most broken in thing ever. So it's kind of comfortable just like that Gold Glove Elite is, but it's actually nice leather. So this is a Rawlings Heart of the Hide Pro 302-6JB. If you can't tell, I like to bring spare gloves for different positions so that everybody is covered in case anything crazy is. Here we go, we got a third base model. This is the Nolan Arenado glove that I have. I made a video on this, it's a great video, go check it out. So it's a 12 inch Pro 206. I actually broke this glove in just like Nolan Arenado does. I actually get a surprising amount of comments and messages saying, hey, can you actually break my glove in like Nolan Arenado, just like you did in the video. And I'm always like, sorry, but I can't, don't have the time. Now this is a beauty, 1175 Matt Chapman. The in-depth dive into Matt Chapman and his glove is actually coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I really am a big fan of A2Ks. They're just like a little softer than I would want, but when you pick one up and feel it, they are super, super nice. But yes, 1175, so shortstop, second base, third base, it really doesn't matter. If you like a bigger glove, you can do what you want. At third, I would consider that kind of small. You guys know this already. I'll shut up. Okay, so this one here is a Pro 200-4 GT. This is a JJ Hardy model. And this is what I call a tank of a glove. You can just tell when you feel it that this is one of those hard of the hides that is going to last forever. I'm a big, big fan, and I've tried going with the modified trapeze on other gloves as well. For whatever reason, none of them broke in the way this one did. All right, you've heard me say this about a lot of the gloves, but this glove is so nice. This is my buckler. Phalanx, Phalanx, I don't remember how to say it. I truly love this glove, it is so nice. I actually just recommended it to somebody who was saying, hey, I got 200 bucks and I need a glove. Honestly, just so you guys know, my answer to that question, if you like a stiffer, harder glove, going with something like 44 is a very good option. But if you're more on the softer side, but you want a nice glove, this is a super good option. This glove is soft and comfortable, kind of similar to a lot of Heart of the Hides that you'll feel. Very durable, it's going to last, it's a high quality glove, and it's on Amazon, so it comes really quickly, and I know I'm super impatient when I get a glove, so that's a little bonus. And then here we go. Now, down to our smallest size, 11 and a quarter. This would be a second base shortstop glove as well. If you saw my last video, the thumbnail was like the car tire resting on top of the glove as if it's so stiff that it can't squish the glove. We simply used a car jack to do that, but while I was doing it, I accidentally released the car jack so it dropped down on the glove and I'm sorry for him. It was an accident, okay? But yes, this is my for him glove. They put my custom logo on there. The three shades of blue, absolutely amazing. This is like a 574 or like a Pro 200 model from Rawlings. Also an absolute tank. This thing is gonna last a long time. Now you ask. What glove are you specifically using? That is a great question. And honestly, it, it changes. Let's just say I'm playing like middle infield. Boom. Just cause it's cheaper doesn't mean it's worse. I absolutely love this thing. And if I was doing middle infield, this is my go-to. But let's say I'm going to third. Right now I'd be using this cause it just looks so good. But let's look at the accessories. Just kinda like the random little things that are in my bag. When it comes to the little accessories, I actually keep it pretty limited. First up is a 44 arm sleeve. These are interesting. So these are like winter cold weather throwing gloves. They've got little like rubber tips. Pretty sweet company. Also got some batting gloves. So shout out Frost here. You guys are cool. Then sometimes I actually like to bring a trainer. So this also, it's a glove, but it's a very small glove. 
World Pegasus 9.5 inch trainer. I actually made a video on this, so you should go watch it. Now, honestly, this is probably like the most important thing that I have in my bag besides my gloves. This is now my go-to for glove conditioning. I won't go super in depth, but I like this stuff a ton because no matter how much you use it, it's not gonna make your glove any worse. Whereas with other glove conditioners, that's not the case. It bothers me so much that nothing is like on the walls right now. Like I hate that there's so many missing spots, so I'm actually gonna take everything and put it back up. Holy cow, I forgot about our bats. Hang on, let's talk about that. So. The first one is the Academic Catapult. I don't think it looks amazing. It's a pretty clean look, but it feels very good. This bat is also only in my hands because of Will from the Baseball Bat Bros. So this is the String King Metal 2. The biggest problem that I have is that I don't have like a good way of carrying my bats. I just sort of have to like let them hang out of the bag. I don't want to get like a full size bag because that kind of sucks. It's just annoying to carry around. And then as you can see, I have a couple of wood pieces down here, but I only take one of them with me because this is the one that I like more. So it's an old hickory and it's birch. So because of this bat, I am now a big fan of birch. I like the way it feels. That's why I swing it. Now it's time with the box. So what I did was I actually ordered batting gloves from JL Glove Co. because they have stunning batting gloves. I think they're so cool. I can't wait to show you. Um, this is so cool, you guys. It says, Chris, we were stoked to see the king pop up in our orders. We're big fans. You guys rock. They said they gave me a hat. Great service. I mean, JL, you guys rock. And seriously, we need to get one of your gloves on the channel. I don't know how it hasn't happened yet, but let's make it happen. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. <laughs> That's awesome. They call them the working class batting gloves. And let me show you why. As you can see, there's like no wrist strap, like no Velcro, just boom, boom, get to work. Whether you're working on your car, I don't care what it is. I'm getting to work grinding on those swings because I suck at hitting right now because it's been a long time. So these are important for me. So as I said, I'm actually gonna show you guys what I bring for slow pitch softball. I'm just gonna show you the gloves because that's where all that matters. What's your slow pitch gamer, you ask? Let me show you. This here was last year's gamer. It's a Pro 28-6. And when it comes to softball, it's an amazing size for middle infield. 12 and a half inches is like kind of perfect. I would even possibly go down to 12 and a quarter because it just feels quicker and smoother. This glove has been phenomenal. My only issue is that it's a little bit softer than I prefer, so I might actually switch and go back to a 44 this next year. Two years ago, this is what I was using. This is one of my favorite looking gloves that I own. Kind of like a sucker for anything USA. This one actually is kind of unique. So this is a Kelly. I'm so sorry, the chair is so annoying. Listen. This is the Kelly first baseman. It's just sort of like a fat kind of not amazing glove, but it works great for slow pitch softball. And so my buddy uses this at first. Wilson A2K 1799. This one's super skin. Honestly, you cannot go wrong. If you want 1275 for slow pitch, a 1799 is like a perfect, perfect, perfect slow pitch model. When you go two in the pinky, it just fits a softball so, so well. My brother actually uses this buckler. This buckler is quite a bit different than the whatever it was called. This is like super, super, super hard, stiff, sturdy leather. I'm actually gonna be gaming this a little bit, but this is the Rawlings Rev 1X. If you haven't seen that video, it's actually a great video. 400 bucks for this. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And I've actually got one more slow pitch glove coming in the mail. My wife actually bought and designed it for me. So I'm super, super, super pumped to get that. What we're actually gonna go do now is find some strangers and talk to them about what's in their baseball bag. What is the weirdest thing that you would say you have in your baseball bag? What is it? It's a heavy ball. I guess my arm loose helps me throw the baseball faster. All right, so this is the weirdest thing in there. Probably. All right, that's a pretty clean bag, honestly. That's good. Now I want you to simply pull out the most important thing to you. Can't live without it. I have like a few gloves, but I use this glove and I like repaired it and everything. No way, you repaired this? Year after T ball to yeah. like fifth grade, sixth grade. Okay, that's so. sick. That's awesome, bro. Well, hey, thank you. We'll start with most important. What's just the most important thing in your bag? Probably my first ball that I hit. That's the, the first ball you hit. Not the first ball for, for the season. Do you remember, like, was it just a single, double? Hold on. It was a dinger? <laughs> Let's go. What's the weirdest thing you have I in your really bag? I really don't have anything weird. That's really the don't. cleanest bag I've ever seen. He's showing me, he's like, I got garbage in my bag. How do you have six <laughs> bottles of sunscreen? Does your, does your mom sneak those in there for you? Okay, you guys, thank you for watching. As always, go check out ballgloveking.com to get yourself some stuff. These hats have been super popular, and I love them. So if you guys enjoyed this What's In My Bag video, you should actually go check out last year's What's In My Bag video. You can comment and make fun of me if the quality's really bad. I honestly don't really know. If you guys aren't subscribed already, you should do so. But that's it. So I will see you guys next week.